Hello there, Drome here from Drome Fitness. How can you slide into a split without a warm up? Now, I've been working at the office all day long, I have an office job now, and I can still do a split. Now, obviously, I've been training for the split years, and I could do it after a year of training, and I've been able to do that for almost 10 years now. So it isn't that difficult for me to, for me to get into a split without a warm up, but I did train for it more specifically. And the first thing I did was be able to do the split. So that's step one. If you cannot do a split, this video is not for you because you first have to get to the basics. So after you've got that down, then shorten the warm up that you normally do before going stretching. So let's say that you jog for five minutes to keep it simple. Then slowly lower the amount of time spent on jogging. So go to four minutes first, then do the stretching and then go to three minutes, two, one, and eventually try not to do it. And that is the next tip. Try to stretch without a warm up. The next tip is to start using these tips in the evening. So start stretching without a warm up in the evening and gradually lower the amount of time spent on stretching or on the warm up and stuff like that because in the evening you're more flexible than you are in the morning. Now that being said, try to get down into the split as far as you can again without a warm up. So you may do some light stretching at first but then try to get down in the split and obviously don't go any further than discomfort. Oopsie. And the last tip that I have is to do isometric stretching. This is contracting your muscle in a certain stretching position and then relaxing it. Now, uh, let me demonstrate. When you do a hamstring stretch like this, then when the tension has faded away from the regular stretch, you contract your muscles. So the entire leg muscles, which is a lot easier than only focusing on the hamstrings for a hamstring stretch and hold that position for about 10, 10 to 15 seconds and then relax. You can stretch a little bit further after doing that as long as it doesn't hurt and it is still comfortable. Also don't force your leg into giving all it has, rather slightly contract your muscles so that you can feel some tension but no pain. So do that once you are more advanced of course but if you can already do a split you usually are already pretty advanced and able to do some safe isometric stretching. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more thumbs up and I will see you next time. Don't forget to click the notification bell at the subscription button to stay up to date with all the videos I upload.